Okay, so um, we have been asked to design the this year's yearbook cover. Um, it's A4 portrait size. And we can use full color or whatever we want. But before we start any kind of design, the design process, if you're a designer working for an advertising company or in a studio somewhere, the first thing we do is brainstorm. So for a lot of people, that's difficult. People come up with ideas straight away and they think, right, that's it, I'm going to do this idea without going through this part of the process. And unfortunately, they don't get to design things which um, are new. They usually tend to be things that we've seen already. So um, good designers are always coming up with new images, new ideas, new ways of seeing something or thinking about something. And that's why we need to brainstorm. So um, I've got um, here on the move, you can do this on your, uh, your sketch pads, up to you. I'm just going to go through some of my starter ones. Um, and so hopefully you'll, you'll get some ideas from that be nice if you could come up with your own. So the first thing I always think of is the natural world. Um, I'll just put nature. So in nature, um, and there's a lot of stuff we can draw from in nature. So there's the animal world. Right, but before I just remembered, um, before we go on, on the move is pretty much about movement okay so if we're going to sum up what this topic it's about movement but it doesn't need to be you can come up with some other radical idea but generally it's about movement so when I think about the animal world I think about animals and how they move and there's lots of good stuff we can um, I can think of but I don't want to tell you that there's the insect world those little guys on the ground you step over sometimes Oops, the insect world. There's the weather. Um, movement in the weather. Well, the first thing we've got is, is the wind. So you've got the elements as well. Elements are what makes up basic things in nature. So earth, fire, water. Um, well, how do they work with movement? Geographical. So it's a big word that just means to do with the land. And so when I think of land and movement, I think of something like a landslide, um, a volcano erupting, or it could be something really slow, like a um, glacier. Glaciers move really slowly. Anyway, um, that's just some ideas from there. And then we can go out into space. Are you ready to go out into space? Some of you might be out there already. Okay, so here we go, space. And there's lots of movement in space. So that's the natural world take care of. There are a lot more uh, areas. I'm just, these are just some. So don't feel restricted to any of these. Now we've got the man made world. Opposite to natural. What have we got in here? Well, we've got technology. And that's a big word for just like I always think of tools. So, you know, your phone is a tool. Um, a hammer is a tool, um, technology, a computer is a tool, things that help us do things. So how does that uh, tie in with movement? Well, this next one's probably more interesting, telecommunication. So internet, phone, um, yeah, all that stuff. Electricity is all about movement. Especially if you put your finger in the socket, you'll know all about movement. Don't do that, please. Sound waves also uh, is all about movement. How do we hear? That's all to do with movement uh, of waves. So there's lots of things we can get into here. Types of human movement. Types of human movement. So how do we move? Well, some people crawl. Babies crawl. Um, old people have to use a walking stick sometimes, people in a wheelchair, some people dance, some people jump, all sorts of movement, dancing and movement and stuff like that. Um, okay, so there's a whole lot of movements there. Transport, 
I'm going to quickly go through these now because they're pretty moving information. Yeah, well, that kind of ties in with uh, ties in with telecommunication a bit. Um, what else have we got? We've got uh, machines that move things. That's technology. Okay, and we've got a moving house, which is kind of what Ningbo is doing, MBIS is doing. Moving house, what happens when you move house? Historical, this is, could be a good um, uh, way. How did people move in the past? There's all sorts of weird and wonderful um, transport things in the past, like a Zeppelin. Um, and opposite to that is future. You could go down the future road, movement in the future. How will we get around? Um, driverless cars, I don't know, all sorts of things. Ubers, okay, so that, that's heaps of ideas just from there. Now you've got just maybe an idea by itself to do with it. So if you wanted to use, um, let's just call it the idea. Okay, so the idea, ping, I've got it. I'm going to make the words move, make the words move. So your, t your design could be just based on making the words move on the, on, on the move. So how am I going to make on the move? Move off. Oh, first thing I think of is using lines. Uh, maybe I can make the letters fall down on the move. Okay, there are all sorts of little um, doodles we can do, idea, idea um, to brainstorm around that. We can use our, our school symbol. Um, do something with that. Um, I haven't got a copy of it, but it's on the, on the uh, website, so somewhere around you can find that and start working with that. The school logo. Sorry, that's what I'm referring to. Um, symbols and signs. On that to do with move movement. That's what I was getting at. Um, stop a stop sign, for instance. Slow down. Uh, new school detour. Uh, new school building. Oh, if you can, maybe ask someone who might one of the teachers if they can get any plans of the school. There will be some plans around. Maybe Miss Chan can get that and. Um, Maybe you can use the plans and photocopy them and trace them and use and be and be quite abstract and come up with a design based around that. That could be a cool thing to do. Okay, and finally, left field. Okay, so left field is people who think about not the obvious things, something a little bit more creative. Um, so when I think of left field thinking, I actually sometimes think about the opposite. So our topic's movement. So let's do the opposite to movement, things that don't move. So um, rocks don't move. And last time I looked, I'm pretty sure statues don't work, um, move very, or turtles, not renowned for their speed. The three-toed tree sloth. So you might be thinking, what the heck is he thinking? Well. It's actually a bit of fun, isn't it? Like trying to play on the idea of on the move. It's irony, it's the opposite. It's kind of not quite what it's supposed to be. A three-toed tree sloth hanging upside down in a tree, they don't move very fast. They're pretty slow. So we could work something into our design, which is based around that, up to you. Or well, the other thing I forgot to do with movement is if you're a sciencey sp person, speed, distance and time speed distance and time so that sheet uh, I've already prepared and made it's on the internet um, somewhere um, in our school is going to be put up somewhere hopefully that we can have a look at Miss Chan might be able to do a copy for us um, that will start so this is just the brainstorming um, part so if you want to use some of these ideas fine go go for it these are pretty general so if you're going to use elements, I'm going to use wind, how are you going to do it? So what, how do we, how, what will a designer do? 
a designer will research, get images, go through magazines, look at other designs that have used the same thing, steal from other designers. Designers do that a lot, they steal. <laughs> so they take stuff and other ideas and, and change it a bit. But so we've got to look around and that means doing some research on the internet, looking for images that we can use in our design. So that's the, the next part of this process, brainstorming and now researching images, getting stuff together. We're not, we haven't started designing yet. We've not done that yet. Anyone can do that. Um, what we're doing now is getting ready to design with some pretty good images and ideas as a basis. If we don't do this, then you're, it's most probably your, your idea and our ideas that we work are going to be pretty ordinary. Anyway, that's it from me. Hopefully this video has helped a bit and you can um, have a think about where to go from here. And I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.